that's getting you know people want to hear the, the, the shits and giggles like let's yeah, yeah. i want to go with some manual seals right, yeah I, i'm with you i want to yeah i'm with you i'm with you i want to go with that too if it, i just want to say something if it wasn't for y'all i would really if it wasn't for y'all i would really think that i ain't doing because the industry I'm in does not recognize me. Mm. And to be clear, I'm speaking about the black spaces in the industry I'm in. Because y'all know I don't give two dams about any of these other spaces. But I'm, I, the black spaces is what I'm referring to. Which is largely in part why I realized like I need to shift out of this industry. You know, like I don't get invited to Essence Women in Hollywood. I've never been invited to the NAACP Image Awards. I've been, I've been nominated for an Image Award. Never been invited to the NAACP Image Awards. Never been honored at Black Girls Rock. Like, <laughs> I've hosted these events. You know what I'm saying? Um, I literally hosted the BET Awards in 2020 in my house, and I was not invited to the BET Awards since. So I just want to thank y'all for always reminding me that I, I really am valuable because the game and the industry that I've been in has never let me know. So um, I would like to... <clears throat> Number one, say, Amanda, I understand how you feel. Mm. Um, man, to do so much tremendous work and to create so many things to, that you've created and to not be recognized, yeah, it kind of sucks. Um, and you know, the, and I, I told Jay Hill before we started this that I was triggered when I saw this clip because the first thing I thought is and this is no so this is has j hill in it but it's ain't got nothing to do with j hill i can go in j hill comments and i know people that i've personally helped put hours in helping them with their creativity or their art and and have loved on them and supported them financially physically and they won't be in my comments for nothing but they'll be in all in j hill comments oh jay you the greatest yo oh yeah and i won't get one comment Yo, they'll come and spend money to be at Jay Hill event, but won't drop a dollar for mine. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that hurts. I see people celebrate people around our diaspora, our local diaspora. And I don't get invited to events. I don't get invited to partake in any kind of financial anything. I don't get invited to nothing. But there are so many people that I have put myself to the side and instead of focusing on building myself, I've built them and not been acknowledged. My birthday will come and go. I won't even get a happy goddamn birthday. You know what I mean? And it's, I don't, so I understand her frustration. However, what I will say is this is the reason why it's so important for you to understand why you get into this. You need to understand why you're here. Mm -hmm. And if why you're here is for the what they for the highs you're gonna live by the booze you know if you you're are here, the, yeah yeah you'll die by the booze and the, the point i'm making is is that are you here because you want to create great content or are you here because you want to be loved or you need to be accepted now what i'm not what i'm not going to do is discount her comments because at the end of the day when you bust your ass and you know you do dope shit like, yo, at the end of the day, we all want to be respected. We all want to be acknowledged. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be acknowledged. But the thing I loved about the end of her statement is, is she spoke directly to her audience and said, yo, that's the why I appreciate y'all. Because without y'all, I don't know what I'd be doing. Mm. And that's super important is that understand where your wins come from. She understands that her win is that audience. All the work that she put in, nope, no awards. But guess what? She's got an audience that's gonna that's gonna financially support her throughout the entirety of her career. Mm. And as long as she keeps acknowledging and recognizing the people that go to bat for her for in whatever way possible, that is the win. And keep building on those wins. And if you really want to be acknowledged. You have to understand that either you want to play the game or you not. You can't complain about the game if you're not going to play the game. Mm -hmm. The music industry is a politics game. 
So if you're not willing to play the politics game, how are you complaining about not winning in the game? That's like saying, man, Mario, I ain't never get a Mario Brothers award. Well, nigga, you don't play Mario Brothers. How the fuck you gonna get an award for that? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you're not gonna go out to the events, shake hands, kiss, kiss the babies, and deal with the fuck shit that's a part of the game, guess what? They not about to they not about to acknowledge you and make you a part of nothing. And yes, you'll be a work for hire whenever they need you, because when they need your audience, guess what? They'll call you and they'll come. They'll put you out front. They'll shake your hand, kiss on you, and they'll shove you out the door once they're done with you, because that's how the game works. Don't get it twisted. Beyonce and Jay-Z have just as many issues and problems, but they understand the game is the game. So, yeah, you know, I think that's bro, it's funny that you said that, because I think you hit it on the nose and uh, it's it's crazy because like it, it hit home for me, too. And, um, you know, I don't do it for the praise. If anything, I, um, like you said, I understand the, the statement of like, if you do it for the praise or if you if you if you get hype off the if you live by the praise, you'll die by the by the booze. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, if you if you live by the acceptance, you'll die by the critics. It just is what it is, and I understand that. But at the same time, I wouldn't I'd be lying to say if I didn't um want to feel respected because that's how sometimes that's how we feel. That's how that's how our, our work is measured in our industry. Mm -hmm. And that's in any in any industry about the, the awards that get accepted, right? By about mm -hmm. um uh, how your peers acknowledge acknowledge you and respond to you. I think that's that's something that comes with the game, but you said something that was important, and that's understanding your why, right? Understanding that. And that's why I say the things I say all the time that might come off wrong, but it's just that's how I continue to go. And that's me. I do this for me. Right. So me doing this for me is my defense mechanism to say if, if all else fails, if nobody accepts me, if nobody likes me, I can get up in the morning, look myself in the mirror and know that I did this for me. So I'm proud of myself and I'm happy for myself. Does mm -hmm. that mean that doesn't mean that sometimes I get frustrated when I feel like. I don't be treated fairly or sometimes I, I I get frustrated when I feel like I don't get the award or recognition that I deserve. I put in the work. So, yeah, I, sometimes I feel like that. But I do understand that at the end of the day, and this comes back to the logic, we come back to the the um, the 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 mentality and it comes back to um, just meditating. These are things that I understand will happen along the way. So mm -hmm. when those moments happen, I'm already prepared for it. I'm already prepared to give myself that 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 prep talk, right? And it's something it's something that you said in the beginning. I wanted to talk to you because I I feel like that to this day, but I understand the game. Like you said, if you want to if you want to play the game, you want to play by it. It's, mm -hmm. I made a joke uh, to to one of my friends. I ain't gonna say their name, but like I don't ever get like invited to their their parties or whatever. That their little special invite only mm -hmm. parties. But I'm also not in the rooms that they are in all the time because I don't mm -hmm. care to play that game. So if I'm not going to play that game, I'm not going to be in these rooms. I'm not going to kiss ass. If I'm not going to be this person, when these events happen, mm -hmm. I got to be accepting to what mm -hmm. follows by it. It just is mm -hmm. what it is, right? Mm -hmm. and even just being to the person, I'm going to get back to the point of uh, what you were saying in, the, in a second, but even being to the person that I'm not like, and this is no knock to nobody. I'm not a yes person, but I'm all, some people will even say, I'm combative, right? Because I speak my truth, right? I've gotten a lot better over the years, but I'm not the person that's going to be in the room and somebody is going to be saying nonsense and I just nod my head. That's not me. I have to understand how that makes other people uncomfortable. Kanye mm -hmm. West said something the other day in an interview and it kind of like, it kind of messed me up because you know, I'm a big Kanye West fan. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, people need to know that I did this, right? And he said he was talking to, it was in a big boy interview. He was like, he was talking to his producer and he was telling the producer why he want like he wanted to change something, and his producer mm -hmm. was saying why he should keep it the same. And he like he kind of got frustrated, like bro, this is me. Y'all here for y'all here because of me. And mm -hmm. although that might might be true, that never been me, right? Mm -hmm. That never been me. Like I'm not going to talk to my team like that. I talk to the janitor the same way I talk to the, my business partner with respect. You get what I'm saying? And if that was me, if I was a producer, man, fuck this. You could do this yourself. That's me, but I understand how that can rub people wrong, especially when people are in high positions, right? Somebody that's in a high position, it, it you got to understand, my mom's always told me, Kenny Rogers, no one to hold, no one to fold, no one to walk away, right? And especially in these moments when you're dealing with people with a lot of money and dealing with people that have a lot, like a lot of publicity or, or a lot of things going for them, you can't just tell them what you want to tell them in the moment you want to tell them. It just don't work like that. And I had to learn that along the way because sometimes you might be thinking somebody wrong, but challenging them on a spot is going to do less. It's going to do more harm than good. And, you have to understand that. and I understand that sometimes 
my mentality and just who I, how I am as a person mm -hmm. might not mess well with somebody who's like that. That mm -hmm. doesn't say anything about them or me. It's just sometimes that doesn't mess. And I have to understand that, bro, this is the life that I chose for myself and I got to be okay with it. This independent right. route with the podcasting. You're not on the radio. You don't do the things these guys do. So you might mm -hmm. not get that, the, 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 the um accolades that they get. You got to be mm -hmm. accept what you got to be okay with the route you decided. And I'm not trying to be long when it hit, but this, it touched yeah. me too. You get what I'm saying? Especially in the beginning when you was like, yo, it might be people in my comments that might not be in your comments. I felt, I felt that way before. And I learned early that is a saying that used to go around Baltimore. And I'm sure it, it go around the whole world. They don't support, um, what was it? They don't support what's good. They support what's popular. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. I, I learned this. I learned this in the beginning, bro. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the biggest lessons I learned. Guess what? If that's life, I ain't trying to change it. Get popular. Mm -hmm. Period. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And this ain't a knock against. This ain't a knock against nobody else. This, but this yeah. is why I took the route that I took. Mind you, mm -hmm. I hate it now, right? We talk about this all the time. I'm talking to you because we talk about this. It's not even about the cameras or nothing. <laughs> I don't even like the route I'm at. I'm, I'm on now because mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't do anything for me. They hear from my guests, right? What about me? Mm -hmm. But I, I took that route because I understood the game. And the mm -hmm. game is the game. Mm -hmm. I might not be the one that's going to change the game. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do what I got to do to get in the door. That's a fact. And, and then let's, let's, I want to, I want to expand on what you just said. Your, the game was the game. You recognize that people are going to follow popularity. So you, and you interview popular people, but then when it came time for people to just tune in to you, you was like, man, why am I not getting as many responses? It's because now you realize I got to become the popular person. Yeah. Like it, it's something that you never wanted. Right. I never wanted to be popular. I just wanted to do my podcast and have fun. And right. it's crazy that now I have to go the route of do whatever you got to do to become popular so that you can live the dream that you want to, you want to live. And that's what well, you understand. What goes back to understanding purpose. You taught me this though, like partially. Mm -hmm. I can't ignore that. I can't ignore the platform that the popular the popular people gave me though. So mm -hmm. like if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't have 70,000 followers, right? Correct. And then I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to have 20 patrons, right? That's not a lot, right? I mean, well, I'm blessed to have that, but I have peers that have way more than that, right? That's 20 so gave me, patrons signed up? No, it's like 14 that's paid, I think. Something like that. I, but, I got only got 19, so like shout out to you, nigga. I, I say that to say, I say that to say it gave me a start because again, mm -hmm. people support what's popular, and mm -hmm. I have the numbers and I'm I'm popular in that aspect of it. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. I just played the game. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I, I definitely understand that, and I feel that way because even to this day, I feel like I don't be getting the respect I deserve. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like Especially when it comes to podcasting, but mm -hmm. I understand. Like, I don't know. I'm, I me, mean, I'm big on reality. Like, it is what it is. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say uh, I. I was talking to Mandy B. Shout out, shout out to her. And I was like, man, I like. I wouldn't say that I have a standard podcast. This is a podcast. That's why mm -hmm. when we get a thousand, two thousand views on this, I'm, I'm hype. People, this is right. the shit that people don't even see. Like, I'm hype. I'm like, man, I just did a hundred thousand views on the interview I just did, but I got mm -hmm. two thousand views on one of our clips last week, and I'm hype. Like, that made me way hyper than. Besides the money, you know what I'm saying? Like, besides the money, <laughs> but right, right. Views get you a couple dollars. But besides the money, I'm more hype over two thousand views than f because it's they mm -hmm. coming for us. I don't care if they. I hit you. I'm like, it's a bunch of negative comments, but hey, I don't care. Like, <laughs> hey, keep, keep it, it coming, nigga. <laughs> it, it is what it is, right? But I say that to say, man, just understanding the game, and I ain't trying to change it. It is what it is. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. my my almost a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube they are able to get me to two thousand views when I when I go mm -hmm. by myself. But I understand that, like. I don't have a conventional podcast, so I'm interviewing people. So people might not, people might not judge my content how they would judge somebody else when somebody else is standing on their own. I say mm -hmm. that to say, like, I don't know, everything ain't like people be like people be hating on me. I'm not big on that. Like, I just try to look at reality and just understand what it's worth. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. if I had a podcast with just me and my friends and we was doing these numbers on our own, maybe people would look at me like that. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I don't. So maybe that's the case. So again. Now let me create a podcast where it's just me and my homie and we do them numbers. Right. Facts. And and, and let me tell you my my emotional, my mental state. I mean, you know, once I kind of went back through my emotions and and, and, and and looked at it, I realized that I was more hurt by people that I thought were genuinely my friends. And I'm like, oh, I just realized that you're not really that person to me. 
You know what I mean? And I think that was more hurtful than anything else. But why? So, because uh, they don't support because they don't support your podcast? Yeah. I you I, know it's funny. If, if, I, if I'm in your comments and I'm in your likes all day, every day. But then you don't like none of my shit. But then I see you on my man shit. That's lit. Oh, I already I'm know this. Ain't, I'm this ain't real. Go ahead, I go ahead. Bro, I tell this to all my friends, bro. You can ask my line brothers. Me, yeah. You can uh -huh. ask my line brothers. I don't ask none of my friends to support my podcast. None of them. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I ask all the niggas for my shit. We good. I understand that podcasting, boy. I don't even listen to podcasts. <laughs> like it's a oh, lot, and it's it's, no, a, it's, a, it. it's a unique space. So to ask somebody to take right. two hours out of their day to listen uh -huh. to something that they're genuinely not interested in because they support me, that. that's a lot to ask for. That's yeah. different. I'm talking about Instagram and niggas that be on Instagram all day long, liking and commenting under everybody's shit. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, all right, yeah, I love you. You my nigga. You the greatest thing that ever happened. And they'd be like, oh, damn, I was just with you a week ago helping you with AB6, Y, and Z. I ain't asked for no money from you. Spend my own gas, my own time. Damn. And I'm like, when I drop my little videos, I don't even get a like. That's what I'm talking about. And I know you online all day long because I see you under everywhere else. But it's not the same energy. But I'm on your page giving you energy. And like that is the and this is, sounds like, whoa, this really sounds like the shit that I hate other people talking about. And I, this is, does not occupy even a tenth of my brain wait, power. Is this, wait, wait. Is this something that you do? Like, do you intentionally go to your friend's page that like their post? Fuck no. Mm -mm. Right. So I, maybe maybe you're not seeing your stuff. Like I, I don't know, like they might, I, not, they might not be. They might not be. I, I feel it, you. Like and, and let's just do it because we're friends, right? About to do math. He about I don't to do think math. it's I don't think it's fair for you to judge your friends off a of comment and just because you made the example on my right, stuff right. when you're way I'm more popular. Sound, no, not no, even no, that. No, I just do don't want to sound like no, no, I don't come on, sound fully into myself like that. Let out no, this no, listen, listen, listen. It's not fair for you to judge your friends or comment my my stuff when. My stuff is getting reposted by hundreds and thousands of people sometimes. Like, literally, like the little mama. It's like, so everybody sees it. You get what I'm saying? So that's not fair to say you comment under on a J Hill post and not comment under mine when how many shares do you have? You get what I'm trying to say? It's like, and, I, and I understand the frustration, but I'm just saying, like, it's not fair to do that. Right. Am yeah, I, I, should, am, I, am I the best of your friends? So I forgive them? Yeah. Like, now, if they, like, if it's just me, right? If it's right, like right. a regular post to me, because I have regular posts, a regular right. post to me, and it's like, I don't know, 100 likes, it ain't going crazy like that, and they just under every single post, maybe you need to find some new friends. But if it's going, <laughs> if it's, if it's going to post that you see on a shave room <laughs> and, and I don't know, ball alert and on site and stuff like that. Like that too, like every now and then I might have a joint that'll take off. Like I, I would say one out of every 10 posts I do will take off and then niggas will be in, in the joint and I'll be like, eh, that's whack. I just don't like it. I, hey, I'm just, maybe I'm just a hater. I don't know. I, I, I have hater hate in my blood. You know what I mean? But at the same time, but let me clarify something. I don't want y'all to stop being in J Hill's comments because I think his attention and love is so well deserved. So let's not even get that twisted. You know what I mean? Like, please stay, please stay in that nigga comments all right, day long. That Somebody man, made a great up. point. I'm sorry, Wait. you gotta come on YouTube, bro. What's all right, yeah, you all gotta right. come on YouTube. Jonathan, Jonathan Jones speaks made a great point on Instagram. Uh, go ahead. He said the comparison game is an L. He said, and your friends are your friends. They didn't sign up for supporting you. I think that's a great point because that's why I say I don't ask my friends to support me. Because John, Mr. Jones, please come to YouTube so I can fry your ass up like, <laughs> like fresh fish. But no, <laughs> Jay, we didn't, I didn't like, we didn't become friends for me to support you. That wasn't a part of the job title. Like me being your friend, like even when people ask me like, what makes you you? Everything that you don't see on camera is what makes me me, right? The fact that I'm a husband, the fact that I'm a father, the fact that I'm a friend, the fact that I got your back when the cameras aren't on here. That's what makes me your friend. Just because I don't like your post. Isn't, that, isn't that the that is the, the core backbone of what support is? But what do we talk need to like? I don't need to watch your podcast if I'm not interested in it. I didn't ask you to watch the podcast. I'm saying if you're on Instagram all day, hit the like button, nigga. Like so, so that means I have to intentionally go to your page if I don't see it. A prime example, Jay. You like all of my posts. What are you no, talking because, about? Because I see I it though. Exactly. But they might not see it. 
How? How is it a nigga with a 70,000 followers just seems to see my shit? Or you follow more niggas than I follow. That's what I was about to say. I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's a lot of people that I don't see post. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but I but also a lot of stuff offline, like a, a lot of a, a lot of this other stuff, like I, I and let's this is pod. We podding right now, so please don't take shit too too literally. But at the end of the day, <laughs> support is still support. Oh, that go, that go, Mister John at the Joe's right there. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? This nigga look just like a movie. Yo, what movies have you been playing in, nigga? You look like a CSI Miami nigga. Like, yo, what the fuck? Nigga, get back on set. Yo, read your lines, nigga. I do not want you to get fired on my part. Now, now that you on YouTube, let me fry your ass up like catfish. Yes, nigga, it is a responsibility of friendship and blood to be supportive of each other. That, I, you are not going to be family with me. Let me tell you something. I tell my friends this. Any real person that's around me, my responsibility, if I'm, when I call you my friend, you could call me at two o'clock in the morning and it has happened multiple times. Yo, my tire blew out or dog, I'm fucked up, nigga. Can you come help me? Yo, I need help. All right, my nigga, just shoot me the real love. You talking about that's, Instagram. What are we talking about? That's, Instagram? What? Nigga, we talking about it's 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 nigga. It's 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 my man's, where my Rick Ross clip? Where is my Rick Ross clip? Yeah, like, come on, bro. Don't make me pull up that Rick Ross clip. Qu family don't even always support you. That's why they're not my family. Bro, we're talking about, listen, no, that's not true. Bro, right, we're talking about Instagram. We're talking about liking a post on Instagram, bro. We're not talking about picking you up when you need, we're not talking about picking you up at the airport when you need a ride. We're not talking about coming, changing your flat tire. We're not talking about taking care of your family if something ever happened to you. We're talking about liking your post on Instagram. Come on. Do you got damn right. You, you got damn right. Too old for that, bro. No, 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 no. You keep lowering the bar just so people can be around. Don't lower the bar. You raise the bar up. Yo, higher expectations for those that are in your circle, nigga. Get the fucking like it. If you on the all right, I'm not saying get an Instagram account just so you can like my post, but nigga, if you are on Instagram. Like the goddamn post. That's crazy. Come on, the goddamn post. Yo, Come on, bro. I got, I got yeah. expectations, right? If you join yeah. my team, if you join yeah. my team, yeah. right, do the work as if it was your work. That's exactly. my expectations. If you're exactly. on my team, no, no. If you're on my team, make uh -huh. sure my shit look good, just like I wanted to look good, and not how you half ass your shit. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Support, not yeah. you, my friend, and I need you to like my post on Instagram. <laughs> I got enough likes. No, I'm good. And even More when likes. I didn't, when I didn't have enough likes, I was good. Uh -huh. I didn't need that. What I'm telling More you likes. is, what I'm telling you is, bro, somebody liking your post don't mean nothing. How much money are you getting from a like from a post? Or a like from on Instagram? Nothing. You know, I'm getting emotional currency. Emotional. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, somebody agree with you. Somebody agree with you. Higher yeah. expectations for the people in your circle. That's correct. That's real. Hundred percent. I get that. I'm yeah. not. I'm not taking nothing away from that. Right. But my expectations don't. It like my ex. You liking my post on Instagram ain't a part of my expectation. Now, now, what? Mm -hmm. Let me be fair. Let me let me be fair. Let me be fair. Mm -hmm. Let me bring myself down. Things are going pretty well for me on social media. In that aspect, and in, in the moment, it's the total opposite of how it is now. I would love to have the support from my friends. So, yes, it's, it can be easy for me to say I don't need the support from my friends because going back from the beginning, before I even got on radio, I always was in a position where I got love from the outside people, if that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Even somebody asked me, like, yo, how did you get in this position? Like, I, to be honest, all my life I've been in this position, but I've, mm -hmm. I've took the initiative. We just talked about Man of Seals. Mm -hmm. I've always done things to put me in that position. When I played football in high mm -hmm. school, I put the work in to be good in football so people mm -hmm. can love me, whatever it, is, whatever it is. When I was in mm -hmm. high school, I was class president, SGA mm -hmm. vice president, one or two people to go to Chicago to represent NASA. Mm -hmm. like, I was these things, so I didn't really need the support from the people that love me because I was mm -hmm. putting in the work. To, to show my worth to the people around the world, if that makes sense, if, if I'm making mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. So maybe you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and say, yo, what am I doing to get the support from others so I don't need it from my friends? Facts. Okay, so I need to go and be the mayor of Baltimore City so therefore I can get the likes on my post. All right. Uh, okay. She said girl from Harlem says that's entrepreneurship for you. And then she also said the number one thing to do is to not take things personal. Um, 
once again, let's just clarify. I'm podding right now. I don't give a fuck about any of this shit. I don't even really be on my Instagram like yeah, that. No, no, no. You can't do that, bro. Come on. Part of podding, you can't uh-huh. give explanation. There's a little bit of reality. Up. There's a little bit of... There's a little bit of... That, all right, look. There's a little bit of truth in everything. I even on a statement, I gotta help you out with the trolling thing. If you're gonna troll, you gotta go. You can't. You can't explain you gotta yourself. You gotta stay committed. All right. All right. My you bad. My bad. Cop out. Your tribe will find you. Yes, your tribe will find you. Um. All right. Here's the crazy part. All right. Let me. Let me. Because I'm gonna build off of this. Uh, Miss Harlem, is that first of all, you gotta know what tribe you want to be a part of. Because a lot of times tribes are finding you. People are coming to you and befriending you all of the time. And then you either choose to re- to engage those people or you choose to let them go by. So as you and I'm only saying this as to everybody, when you are out here finding your tribe, know what tribe you want to be a part of. Are you a cannibal? You know, are you a warrior tribe? Are you a farming tribe? Like what kind of what kind of person are you and what kind of people do you want to have around you? You know what I'm saying? So, uh. But shout out to you, man. Like, I appreciate everybody. But at the end of the day, there is a strong part of me that is like, yo, I get up and when I see my niggas post, I like and I comment. I don't give mm. a fuck. This ain't that's about if you, that's if you see it, though. No part about it. That's once you see it, though. Let's, let's just make that known. All right, yeah, right, right, right. When I see it, I like and I comment and I show my people's love because it's it's important. It does make a difference because that's how the algorithm gets triggered. When you've got X amount of uh, of of hearts and X amount of comments, it triggers the algorithm to start showing it to more people. That's how your shit takes the fuck off. So it is a part of business, and it is it is less about an emotional things in certain situations now. Me not being friends with certain people has more to do with off social media things than on social media things. But don't think I'm not paying attention. Do I give a fuck? No, but I'm paying attention to what's going on around me and everybody that's around me. Why? Because it is very important that I cultivate a circle that is hyper supportive of each other. Me being helpful to them and them being helpful to me. So and I feel like we should all be that way. Um, Mr. Success. God damn, your name is long. Speak your success it's media. Just, I think it's just Jonathan Jones. Jones. Just yeah, Jonathan Jones. Mr. Speak Jones. That's media out of here. The, the question the- is, how often are you posting? Because if you're really posting, then ain't nobody going to see it, B. That's a fact. I like the I B at the end because ain't nobody going to see it, B. I like it, B. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, 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 let's move on, man. Let's keep it going, man. Uh, Maybe he's got, the new New York undercover. I don't know. Shout out to him. Where, where do we go from here? Do we go get uh, um, do you want to go more inspirational or you want to go ignorant? That's because uh, I got I, kinda, I got I feel like we've been giving inspiration. Let's have some fun, man. I feel like we gotta, fun, we gotta get this is what I'm saying. This this is a part of the job that people don't understand, right? I uh, got you. Not on like so I love inspiration. We can give inspiration, but we can mix it up and then we can we can go and I'm giving game here before we get ignorant. Sometimes you gotta mix medicine and the candy. And what I mean by that is right, like me, I would love to get up here and talk inspirational all day, but I don't got the platform just yet. So now we might can do 50 50 ignorant shit, 50 inspiration, right? But then next time you come on, do 60 inspiration, 40 ignorant, and then you just wane off until you got your audience that you want. This is a part of playing the game. 